everyone. Welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Tonight I am making sweet pea soap and it's a fragrance I got from Brambleberry. Um, I've not used it from them before so it smells really good. I'm anxious to, to soap with it. It says it behaves fine. And I'm using my tall and skinny wooden mold but I formulated the recipe to be a little bit shorter than the tall and skinny bar. Um, I plan on just cutting them a little bit chunkier so you can see the design on the top, which I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pipe um, sweet pea flowers on the top. So for this one, I am just using Brambleberry's Electric Bubble Gum, pink color, and then Maniacal Pea from Mad Oils, and then white.
come back, I'm going to go ahead and pipe the um, vine first. And this is a uh, Wilt and Tip 4. And I'm just going to kind of... Um, I hope you guys can see. I put it up on this turntable hoping you could see better. I know because I'm kind of down deeper in the mold, it might be harder for you guys to see. Okay, then with the pink, this is a Wilton 102. It's a really small rose tip. I am going to, I did this a long time ago. I think I have another video of doing the, the sweet peas. Um, it's kind of a, kind of like a ruffle. I know you guys probably can't see. I feel bad. I'm not sure how to, unless I put the camera on the other side, but this is getting really set up, so I feel like I need to kind of get moving with it. I'll try to go like this with my arm, but you kind of just do like a ruffle, and then you do a ruffle inside that ruffle, and then just kind of a little doop de doo at the end. Um... The uh, pink is thicker than the green because, as you see, I, I had to stick blend it a little because it really um, started to rice. I Probably because it had titanium dioxide as well as the colorant in it is the only thing I can think of. Let's just fix the little stem. It is hard to get down in here. That's one thing with the mold, especially because this recipe is, I made it to be shorter in the mold.
do is I'm going to replace this with a writer number one and I'm going to kind of make some little curly cues like you see on a <gasps> uh -oh. ah. like you see on a sweet pea flower. First I'm going to go ahead and kind of connect some of the buds that are just kind of hanging out. to cut sweet pea and I cut them into logs you can see I do have some glycerin rivers in the white portion which I knew as soon as I added it that it was going to have glycerin rivers um, because if you add too much water with the titanium dioxide that's what happens and I just had a feeling that it was going to have some glycerin rivers. Um, it's okay though, it doesn't affect the soap at all other than appearance. Cut these a tiny 
tiny bit chunkier. Let me weigh one of these. Oh, this one smells so nice. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.